In the race for Secretary of State, Democrat Jocelyn Benson is running for re-election against Republican Christina Caramo. But right now, I understand that we do have... We want to, yeah, we understand that we have one of our candidates speaking. We want to take that live right now. And you have Hillary Skolton. ...inclusivity for folks who are looking for something new. Politics has become so divisive and so tiring, and we hear from people all the time that they're attracted to our fresh new approach to politics. My deep connections in the district are absolutely what's going to carry the day. You know, being a fourth generation West Michigander and raising my kids here myself uh, is, is just so critical. And I know that folks were really attracted to that um, and wanted to be a part of our campaign. And of course, on the other side of the coin, um, if you were uh, to lose uh, today to your opponent, um, yeah. what do you think would be uh, the, the primary reason for that? Uh, you know, I, I, we're, lo we're looking really good uh, in, in the results, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at everything. Of course, we'll accept the results uh, as whatever they are. That's what we do in America. Um, but, you know, we will have, uh, we'll have time to, to look at what happened, um, but we're feeling really good. We know our message resonated with voters, and we saw that come, them come out in force. And do you think the redrawing of the district lines will play in your favor tonight? You know, I, I think we've seen that this new district is one that uh, has consistently gone Democratic. Uh, I think we've seen, we're really able to coalesce that Democratic support around me and also pull over Republicans and independents who wanted to be a part of our movement. So we're feeling really strong about it. And so you are going to go to Calder Plaza, is that right? To, um, <laughs> Yes, I, yes I, I, I hear that there is uh, quite a group of folks out there still waiting to vote, so we're going to go provide them some encouragement. Thank you so much, Hillary. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Yeah. Hi, I'm Melissa Frick. I'm a reporter at And that was Hillary Skolton, yes. the Democratic candidate for the 3rd Congressional Interesting District. Interesting to hear from her as we were just talking about getting that youthful vote, yes. getting more people out, and she feels like that's where her momentum is coming. Of course, it's yet to be seen right. whether or not that's working, but it was a kind of a, an interesting way that she positioned herself. Of course, you know, she does have an opponent. She's yes, and against. that is Republican John Gibbs, and 13 on your side's Nate Belt is covering his watch party tonight. We want to join him live now with what's going on there, Nate. Yeah, Juliet here live at John Gibbs uh, watch party in Wyoming. And I had to have my hand up to my ear here so I could hear you guys because it is loud. The energy in here is uh, really taken off over the last hour or so when John Gibbs himself arrived here at the party. There are a lot of people here uh, and, and showing their support for uh, their candidate. Now, we did talk with John Gibbs not long ago. Uh, he says they're feeling good as they go into the night. Uh, they feel like they got their message out there as best as they could. One thing he pointed out that he feels is he says, well, he's driving around uh, around town. He says he sees more uh, John Gibbs signs in yards than Hillary's Golden signs. So he says he, because of that, he's feeling good. He's feeling like uh, he, he really got through to his base to come out and, and show support at the polls. Now, again, uh, just talking with Gibbs a minute ago, and he told us that this is, uh, this is we believe, the only time he'll be speaking with the media throughout the night. Doesn't sound like he'll uh, be back out here to talk with us again until uh, the results are in. So, of course, we're going to continue to watch that throughout the evening. We haven't really seen any uh, results from this race come in yet so far. Uh, but, of course, we'll have those for you here online and on air, 13onyourside.com and the 13 Plus app. Uh, but for now, we want to send it back to you guys in the studio. Nate Belt, live in Wyoming, 13 on your side. All right, we'll check back with you, Nate. Thank you.